Hey, RHS. Me and Tate Epps went around and got a lot more information on the planetarium. Now let's go check it out. Is the planetarium used for anything else other than the earth science? Yes, yeah, so every year I have um, some of the elementary teachers who have to teach space science to fourth and fifth graders. Um, they bring their classes to the planetarium and I teach them at their level some of the um, content standards that they need to learn. We also have Boy Scout troops, and we use the planetarium for a community event with the Earth, um, not their science club, the science club every year where we bring little kids in that are 10 and under and teach them about astronomy. And when we get the new system, we'll be able to open up those opportunities to hopefully more of the community and more of the schools within Wyandotte. We're very excited about that. Do you use the planetarium anytime throughout the year for your Earth science class? Yeah, we teach 12 weeks of astronomy, and so we use the planetarium extensively throughout the unit in Earth Science, and that would be myself and Mr. Kotner. Uh, we have right around 350 freshmen um, that go through the planetarium. So yes, for Earth Science classes, we do. Why do you use it? The planetarium um, is a great opportunity for our high school to demonstrate many of the things that our students learn in astronomy, um, from anything from the motion of stars to learning the constellations to understanding how our galaxy and our universe looks. Um, so it's a really good learning opportunity for our school, and we are looking forward to improvements in it um, to extend those opportunities. When was it made? The planetarium was built in 1974 um, by a teacher named Art Lusty who worked at Wilson Middle School. And um, we are in the process right now of getting a brand new digital system. Um, this year it will be completed and Mr. Trudell, the technology director and I have been looking into um, different companies and so we decided to go with a digitarium and our state of our planetarium will be state of the art at the end of this school year. So we are looking forward to um, somehow incorporating like a, a welcome or a, some type of ceremony to um, welcome the new planetarium to our school. What are you doing for the planetarium? Well, basically what I'm going to be doing is a mosaic where I will take a bunch of pieces of clay and have them different glazes and colors and stuff. And I'm going to put them on the wall, like right around the door, like above and around the door, and then possibly paint the door. What inspired you to do this? Well, Mrs. Weller, she really wanted something cool to, like, really stand out, like, to make the planetarium stand out so freshmen and other people can see where it is and what it is and whatnot. And she came to Mrs. Stiles and asked her if an artist wanted to do something like a mural. And she asked, and Miss Stiles brought it up to me, and I was really into it, and I wanted to do it. So she, Mrs. Weller sent me pictures, and I'm just, like, coming up, basing, like, getting ideas off of her and whatnot. Do you think you'll be done? Well, I'm planning on doing it either at the end of first semester or the beginning of second semester because I have so much artwork, like different projects going on right now. But I, if I start it beginning of, no, if I start at the end of first semester, then I hope to be done in the beginning-ish, the middle of second semester. And then it'll probably, if I do it for second semester, it'll probably take me most of that because it's a lot of work. Um, what's going to be the difference now? Uh, and a planetarium and a new planetarium. Okay, so our old planetarium is a, it's a Spitz model, and basically it has a lamp in the middle of it and a whole bunch of little holes that make the, the, the stars. Um, so it's um, sort of like an overhead projector, right? The new planetarium is going to be computer based. Um, so it's a computer with a um, very bright projector that has this really cool lens that um, makes a 180 degree sphere which will cover the entire um, surface of our planetarium. So before we were we could just make dots, now we have a, we can do anything a computer can do um, with showing all the stars, showing the um, solar systems, all, all the planets can be zoomed in on. Um, it's just very cool, very cool stuff. Um, when is the new planetarium going to be done? So the science classes have just finished up astronomy. Um, so we're going to start um, the process of planning on how we need to remove the old planetarium because that's going to be kind of a, it's a fragile piece of equipment. Um, and we, we've been debating what we're going to do with it, but we're probably going to lower it and leave it actually in the planetarium. So the new planetarium will sit on top of the old one. I think, you know, so, um, but Optimistically, we should start, we should probably purchase it sometime around December and 
optimistically by like March, we should have everything up and running. Well, there you have it, RHS. Stop by and check out the planetarium. Now back to the anchor.